Hello and welcome to another episode of Displaced Yinzer's Beer Reviews. Um, today I have a Harvest Ale, which I like to call it. It's a, it's a fresh hop brewed um, IPA from Noda Brewing out of Charlotte. Um, of course, you know, it's only about half an hour from where I live, so. I picked this guy up last week. Um, it's called Sticky When Wet. It's 6.8 alcohol by volume. Um, I don't know all the hops that are in it, but I, I do know that it was um, dry hopped with Mosaic and Citro, which seems to be the uh, the hops of choice as of late, which I have no problem with because they're both great uh, hops. So, crack this guy open and see what we got. A little bit of aggressive pour on my part, so I won't say that it's over carbonated because I don't think it is. But, um, so it's not one of, uh, you know, fan the fancy new hazy IPAs, which, uh, I have no problem with that as long as it tastes good. I don't really give a shit what it looks like, and I don't need it to be. You know, insanely juicy. As long as it's tasty and easy to drink, that's what I'm looking for. So, it's uh, it's definitely you know completely opaque. You can see right through that guy, which is fine. Um, and uh, it's got nice carbonation. Again, you know, I over poured it, so that's why the head was pretty big. Now it's uh, settling down a little bit. It's not, there's not much lacing on it, but you know, it it is what it is. It's not it's nothing that's uh, deterring me from drinking it, so it's fine. I can really smell it. I'm gonna go into the nose. <clears throat> so the nose is pretty classic um, citra. I, I'd say it's more citra than mosaic. Um, it kind of reminds me of some of the new beers that came around when citra became a thing back in I don't even know, like 2011, 12 maybe. Um, because it doesn't have that crazy juicy character. It's just that nice orangey peach um, that is from Citra without having, you know, be overloaded with hops like some of the, the Juice Bomb New, uh, New England IPAs. It does remind me a little bit of zombie dust um, in the aroma, but it's not... It, it's really nice. It's a really nice clean aroma. It's not insane in your face but that's fine with me i i was i was expecting from noda to be getting like a really easy drinkable tasty beer which i think this is what this is going to be so go into the uh taste see what we got <sighs> wow that is that's really nice this, to me, if someone wants an example of a low bitterness filtered IPA and an example of how flavorful they can still be, this would be a beer to give them. Um, it is loaded with citra and mosaic. Um, there's no malt taste at the, with this at all. Um, Tons of hops. I would say it's a slightly more bitter than some New England IPAs, but it, it's still definitely not even close to like old old school West Coast style by any means. Um, it has uh, there is some citrusy, orangey character to it. A little bit of tropical peach character. Um, there is some dank and piney character too, which it makes me think that there's some Simcoe in here. Uh, which that's actually the name of my dog, and he just looked when I said that. Um, it's funny. But, I don't think there's Simcoe in it. I think it's just uh, Citra and Mosaic, which is great, because I, I do like that there's a little bit of a resinous character, even just from those two hops. Um, I'm guessing there's probably more boil hops in this than there are from most uh, traditional New England IPAs, so that's why there's a little bit of that resinous green character to it. Um, but it is real. I'm gonna go back before I say that, but just to prove it to myself. <sighs> I 
I mean, the body is very crisp. It is a little sticky, which is weird to say, because I know the name of the beer, and it's not, but it's not sticky, like sweet sticky, like there's caramel malts in it, I don't know, but it's, um, it is loaded with hot flavor, I mean, it really, really is, if, I would take this over 95% of the New England IPAs out there right now. And I am a big fan of, uh, you know, the classic Hazy Dank here, or IPAs too, so to me this is a really good fit that's right in the middle between New England and uh, Dank, classic West Coast. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I was actually just down in Charlotte earlier today. <gasps> excuse me. And I was in the area where Noda is, and I... I think they still have some of this left, and I now I'm kind of regretting not stopping by and buying more of it because I only got one four pack while I was there. But I wish I had more of it. This is uh, really really tasty stuff. I I haven't had hop drop and roll in a while, but from what I remember from what that beer is, I think this is definitely better than that. Uh, I mean to me just by. By reading the uh, explanation of the beer and just the hype behind it, I think this is their, like, to me this is their one shot and say this is the best hoppy beer that we do in the style that we like to make it. And I think they did a really, really good job of doing that. Um, <clears throat> so to give my rating, I would a absolutely say buy this. I think it was only... I don't even know, like $13 a four pack. It was cheap as shit for how good this is. Um, definitely some of the best bang for your buck if, for uh, IPAs that, you, that you're going to get. Um, if you're not from the area, uh, if you know someone who has access to it, I would seek it out. You know, don't, don't just say, oh, it's not hazy, it's old school, it's garbage, blah, blah, blah. That's not true with this guy. I mean, I don't think that's true with a lot of beers, but certainly not this guy. I think this would appease anyone who loves uh, the New England IPA because the flavor is definitely still big and juicy up front. Um, it just, you know, it looks can be deceiving. It, it it doesn't look like a New England IPA, but it is really, really juicy with subdued bitterness. So I think anyone would like this beer. So if uh, if you can go, if you can get this, uh, certainly try to get it. You know, um, trade for it buy it if you see it um well that's that's all i got with this one it's great beer so uh i hope you guys enjoyed it and i look forward to the next one thanks